Hello guys, today I'm gonna show how you can replace the gearbox of a top load washing machine. This is our Fisher 100 washing machine. This is a top load washing machine as you can see. So, first of all, let's see, first of all we have to remove this cap and open the screw of the pulsator okay remove this cap with your flat screwdriver then open the screw have inside as you can see and remove this pulsator i'm trying to remove this pulsator but it is so sleepy sleepy that's why I'm using this kind of springs I have to remove this pulsator. I'm trying to remove this pulsator and and finally it comes out as you can see. So now as you can see these are six screws we have connected with our gearbox so we have to remove all these six screws the size is 10 mm so we have to use three types of screwdriver of 10 mm so this is the screw and I removed all the screws as you can see these are the screws this is these are SS stainless steel screws so now what we have to do we have to turn like this our washing machine then let me show you what is inside actually see this is the gearbox as you can see this complete set is the gearbox we have to remove all these things step by step as you can see this is complete our gearbox so we have to remove all these things step by step so first of all I will remove the motor as you can see so remove both screws have two screw the size of this screw is 13 mm so I have the type of screwdriver for 13 mm this is the screw and having washer so now I am removing another screw also so finally it is also removed as you can see and that's it so I removed all the all both of screws now remove the belt it comes easily out because I removed all the screws now I want to show you something because this one this is the as you can see this is speaking of the motor person not using before but it is mandatory so our washing machine will not be uh, you know noisy we have to remove both these screws this is for gearbox if you can't use your screwdriver plus you can use also 10 mm screwdriver T type of screwdriver I am removing a screw with T type of screwdriver it is connected well with uh, plastic body so finally I removed both of the screws now let me show you one thing it was connected like this before it is actually for packing 
This is actually a packing when you are washing machine shipping from the country that's why they use so we remove both of the screws here was also screws before with uh, packing now we remove the motor from these holes now comes on another side as you can see this is magnetic coil so let's remove this pin also first of all we have to make it straight now we can remove this one easily this is actually a lock now remove this magnetic coil from this gearbox use this allen key type of screwdriver so it comes easily out have another side also first of all we have to remove the tie then i can remove the screwdriver screw easily let me cut first so i have a space to work you can see this is this tie was there connected with the r magnetic coil so now i have space to remove the screw and it is removing easily it is coming easily out as you can see now this is finally out this is our magnetic coil to drain the water it help to drain the water and now c have another screw remove this one one more screw is there as you can see under the plastic this one we have to remove this one also so first of all we also remove this is can remove the this housing, housing actually so that you can for work. drainage you have good so space we have to, to work. open this also and carefully have to because screw the plastic quality is not good connected with the magnetic coil so you can remove this easily if you so open that house one. You can use a spinner, a spinner also to remove that screw. Let me remove this pipe so I have good space to work. So finally I removed the gearbox. Now it's easy and to I'm cleaning that space to open this screw. This was the gearbox. Finally what I removed. I remove it is leaked so that having problem so that's it now I have, I have new to open one. this tie also. as you can see because looks like I have to remove this nice. housing also so I'm gonna fix this one so have downside a screw if we need to open that screw I have to remove this by trying to check if it is same because do not have to, have to check the shaft that can work from here because sometimes shaft have now, removed the tie little bit so uh, I have small a good space for work. work the same we can use this one first of all we have to clean this hole because have too much rust so we have to clean this one properly I have sandpaper I'm trying to clean this so finally I clean all the things now let's try to put it back a new gearbox so now let me tell you one thing as you can see this is a brick and this is housing so before fixing this gearbox check it carefully if you fixing it on the right side as you can see we can't fix it like this we have to remove this housing first so try to remove this housing carefully turn it left right so you can remove this one easily i already removed this one just i want to show you so if you remove this housing now you have a good space nice space to fix your gearbox 
so now I'm fixing the gearbox because we have good space we can work easily and as you can see it is fixed nicely have nice space that's why we can work easily so let's fix all the screws first of all I am fixing uh, all the corners screws So guys I fix all four screws of the gearbox now we have to fix step by step spare parts as you can see this is a magnetic coil and have a nice fitting so let's fix this one also have two screws I have to make all these screws I have to make tight with a linky as you can see and finally Right. Now we will fix housing. This is our housing. So it will be like this. We have to use first of all glue. This is Patex, so we will use this one. This glue is very nice for plastic. To connect the plastic, you can use this one also. I'm trying to mix all pasting on all the space now fix it back on their space and that's it now connect all the screw it is also have two screw so I will connect both of them So that's it, it is also connected nicely. Now we will connect this our uh, magnetic coil with the drain system. So you can fix like this. Let me remove this one and put from another side as you can see now you can stretch 
this one so it will not remove so now we will fix the pipe this where is the hose this is the earthing wire we can fix here like this and now we will fix we will tie all these wires on a corner and any corner so it will not make trouble while working so we will fix this hose as you can see have a spring lock and it is very tight now connect on another side this is for drainage pump to throw all the water outside so that's it we fixed this hose and now the time to fix the motor also so we will fix motor as you can see this is our motor first of all we will keep inside these locks as you can see these packing these packings are mandatory so we have to use these packings as you can see like this and tighten the screw with the washer we will tighten later we are because we have to use we have to you can see i am fixing another packing also now again for the screw now do not tie it now put the belt so you can wear the belt it will wear easily if your screws are loose now tight your screws tight little bit now you have to make a space between these like this so your belt looks like tight as you can see so let me fix it first and tight from another side So let's tighten the screw while stretching the motor and gearbox. Now tighten from another side also. And as you can see, we have a good tightened belt. So that's it. We have a nice fixed gearbox. So that's it all these things we fixed now let's turn our washing machine so as you can see now i make my washing machine straight now try to turn your drum so so you can match the holes with the gearbox 
now tight all the screws as you can see I am using 10 mm T type of screwdriver to tight this and check one by one if it is tight now put it back your washer and the time to set your pulsator also so put your pulsator back now tight the screw of the pulsator make it full tight as much as you can and as you can see this is the cover fix it out so now we have a complete working washing machine so let's try if it is working good or not so let's start I don't want wash, don't want rinse, just try to run a spin only. As you can see, I'm not using wash and rinse, I'm just using a spin to check if my washing machine is working. If I have sound or have vibration of anything. So as you can see it is working nice this is our washing machine finally we changed our gearbox now we have nice working washing machine that's it guys thanks for watching